Good evening. More than 600 jobs are to go at the Kent base of one of the world's biggest pharmaceutical companies, GlaxoSmithKline. There's been a plant in Dartford for 120 years, but the company says they have to close the site because some of its most important patents are about to expire, meaning drugs they've developed can be produced by other companies. This from our business correspondent, Richard Smith. Robert Hunt has worked at GlaxoSmithKline in Dartford for 20 years. Back then, there were around 3,000 employees. Now there are 620. And today they found out they've got four years to find a new job. The reason? It's, it's patents. It's definitely patents. You know, we, we expected to be able to carry on making certain things. We hoped that they would tail off slowly. But as soon as they went out of patents, it was gone. You know, production just, just, just disappeared. Because other firms can make them cheaper. Make them cheaper. Yeah, that's so right. So, in fact, this is not really a story of the credit crunch, is it? It, it isn't a credit crunch story. It isn't. It really isn't. No. Just two patents or licensed recipes for products which GSK alone can produce make up 60% of the work these people do. When other firms are allowed to make them too, demand will nosedive and there's nothing to take their place. Dartford's MP says whatever the reason for the closure, it's bad news. They've employed a huge number of people. They've been a major force in Dartford for good. And I think this is going to be a big blow to the area. They've been major training employers. They really have uh, been a good company. And I think this is going to be a very sad day for the region. Consultation is now underway to see if closure can be avoided. But GSK say they're going to concentrate on new products elsewhere. We're not configured correctly for the new generation of products that are coming along. But could none of that be done here, even if the site had to be redeveloped? Um, it would be very, very expensive. It would be long and drawn out, and we have alternative facilities around the globe to do um, those particular presentations, vaccines and biofarms. But at the factory gates, disappointment. I've been here six and a half years as a cleaner, and it's very sad to see it go. Gutted, I would have thought. Completely gutted. Patents come and go, but this factory has been here 120 years. Now both licenses and time have run out.